Hi, I'm Rashonda Kay. This is Real and Raw with Rashonda. And I want to talk to you today about getting started. I just read an article today by Shanta Grimes, and she talked about New Year's resolutions and why not just start right now. And that, boom, boom, that really hit me. And I thought, hmm, maybe somebody else needs to hear this message too. I love to plan for the new year. I love for a fresh start, but why not start right now? It's I'm looking at my calendar. It's December 9th. The new year is actually a good bit away. What, it's over 21 days away until the new year? So why not get started on your new thing now and you'll be ahead by the time the new year comes? What are you waiting on? Why don't you start? So I had to ask myself that and I thought, well, new year, new you, sounds good, feels good, but what it really is, at least for me, is a procrastination tactic. Okay, let me act like I'm going to get all of my ducks in a row and be super prepared. And then yes, when the new year starts, but what really happens is the new year rolls around. I'm not any more prepared to start than I am currently. And maybe I start and maybe I don't. So why not start now? So I am challenging myself to start something now. As you know, I'm a life coach and a writing coach, and I just really enjoy talking with people and helping people think through their ideas and think through their goals and think through their lives. But I feel God moving me to focus my service on Black women on their doctoral journeys. So if you are a Black woman who is working on her research-based doctorate, or if you are a Black woman who already has one, I am shifting my um, coaching services to serve you. I'm pretty excited about that. It feels a little weird because I really do enjoy helping everybody, but I am a black woman with a PhD and oh my gosh, the 11 year journey, two of those years I was working on my master's. So maybe I'll call it the nine year journey, but the whole thing is all together for getting my doctorate. I needed help that I did not have. I needed support from other Black women. I didn't even know that I needed that. I needed somebody to bounce my ideas off of. I needed somebody to remind me to take care of myself and to um, help me have strategies to take care of myself. I needed somebody to help me plan what I was going to do, how I was going to spend my time. I felt all this guilt that I'm not spending time with my husband and kids, that I'm not spending time in my church ministries because I'm working on this project. I felt pressure from people because they hadn't done it before and they didn't understand what it was like to be in the middle of that. And I'm not mad that they didn't understand, but in hindsight, I needed somebody who had been through it before who could help me, somebody who was just focused on me not on their own careers. Like I had a committee and I had professors that I could have talked to, but there was, there was power differentiation there. And, you know, my work reflects on them. And so they wanted to make sure they were steering me in a way that would help them keep their jobs. And I'm not mad at them about it, but I needed somebody who could just look at me and be like, I've got you. I, I understand that this is a lonely journey and a hard, arduous process, and I'm here to support you and help you. I needed that and I didn't have it. So I want to provide that for other Black women on their doctoral journeys. And now on the other side of that, I've had my PhD for 11 years. Oh, look, 11 and 11. I've had my PhD for 11 years, and I'm constantly beleaguered with the question of, so what now? What do I do next? I have this great education, I have this degree. What am I doing with it? What am I writing? How am I transforming the world? And I have questions of not just what do I want to do, but who do I want to be? And how is this position of my education going to inform that? And how do I use that? And how do I write about it? And how do I help somebody else? So I'm also here to help Black women with doctorates on that other side of the journey. So I am offering services to people to help um, 
support you in your journey of self-transformation, support your writing, and to build community around us so we have each other to lean on and to talk to. I've got some things in the works, so you will be hearing about them coming up. But if this is you, if this is your category and you're feeling like, yeah, I do need some support as I'm on this journey, whether it's support with how do I plan? How do I transform? How do I write? How do I deal with a committee? How do I not feel so guilty about taking time to do the things that I need to do? And on the flip side of that, how do I not feel so guilty about taking time away from my project so I can be present with my family and loved ones? If any of that resonates with you, go ahead and type me in the comments and I'll reach out to you to hear what's going on with you. And I've got another challenge for you. I'm all full of challenge and whatnot today. I'm, it's real and raw for real. Whatever it is that you are planning on doing in the new year, I challenge you to start today. Start today. Start right now. So in addition to if the idea of being a Black woman on the doctoral journey resonates with you, please type me in the comments. And whatever it is, that you need to start today, type it in the comments and let me know what that is that you're starting today. And I will be praying for you and rooting you along as you are on your journey. So I'm Rashonda Cade. This is Real and Raw with Rashonda.